This tutorial shows you how to use choice box. Um, it allows us to select one item out of uh, several items. Okay, let's create one project then um, add a package in front of Java Apexable documents. Then I will open new scene builder. Then I will add um, one choice box and one text area. Okay, let me remove label, then add one choice box. Prefix, I will use CB, stands for choice box. And the uh, text area for TA, information. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, I will rename it as a BTN, okay. TA, I will name it TA information. For choice box, I will use the CB stands for choice box. Make new controller. Then, yeah, now you should be able to see uh, new object names called CB items, TA information. For choice box, um, we will use a string values. So let me change to choice box string. Okay, um, maybe this is the first time we actually use the initialize method. When we append the specific items to choice box, we need to um, set the initial values, which refers to choice box string. So we will uh, name it as a item number one, two, three, four, and so on. So um, I will demonstrate two, uh, actually three different ways of adding it. So let me start with okay, get items. Get items allow us to add one specific items at the end of choice box using add methods. So let me add item number four, five, and six. Then we go back to handle button actions so that we can trigger certain actions based on uh, action events. In this case, when we click the buttons, it will trigger uh, actions against the choice box. So basically saying if you select one item on choice box, it will return the value to uh, text area. 
here um, uh, get items actually return all items listed in choice choice box but it is actually observable list so we need to change to a string value then it will return um, item number four and five and six as uh, um, items listed in uh, observable list you will see Okay, um, here, if you, even though you select item number 4, it's going to return uh, all items uh, listed in choice box. It is actually uh, returning as a uh, observable list, and we convert the string value using a string wrapper class. So next, uh, we will make a comment. Then uh, we will focus on how to select uh, one item and then return that value to text area. Okay, choice box items we need to make a decision whether it's a single selection model or a multiple selection model. In this case, there is only one uh, selection, single selection model for combo box, which is uh, straightforward. Then uh, we can use the method called get selected items. So we should be able to select one item out of, in this case, three. Then we can return the value to uh, text area using open, open text. It's going to return a string value, so typecasting is not necessary. But uh, if you insist, you should be able to do so as well. Okay, let's quickly demonstrate um, select item number 4. It returns um, value for item number 4, which is uh, one, one item is selected out of um, three items listed in choice box. You can try with another one. Again, it's the same thing. The last item is selected and return item 6 as a uh, string value. Okay, next one we focus on um, in index value, which is uh, integer. So here I say um, returns the integer value indicating currently selected items. So um, it's easier to deal with the integer value rather than uh, string values. It just exactly the same as a list model. So if you select the first item, it will return the value zero. If you select the second item, it will return the value 1, and so on. Okay, now you can see that uh, first item is selected and then index um, is returned with the integer value 0. So if you select the uh, second item, it will return integer 1. And if you select the last item, it will return uh, index value number 2. Let me show you how to add uh, multiple items at once. So called uh, CV items get items dot add all. There is a method called add all so that you can add multiple items at once instead of typing uh, four lines of uh, quotes. Okay, next one I will show you um, initialize your choice box with a set of the items. 
uh, predefined at the beginning. Um, same as a list or array, uh, we usually uh, initialize values at the beginning if we know the actual values, rather than adding uh, individual items uh, one by one. So I will show you how to add uh, predefined values at the beginning using uh, observable array list. Uh, this is a special list that comes with the JavaFX collections. Okay, let me create a private um, array of string elements. Then I will add to uh, observable list. Um, when you say observable list in JavaFX objects, uh, you may need to import two classes, one uh, called observable list and then JavaFX collections. Normally, we won't change the actual um, the predefined values, so I will declare as a private uh, observable list. And uh, obviously, we are dealing with the string object, so let me change to a string or specify same as a choice box data type, which is string. This time, I call it as a um, drink list. So string list um, include string items. It has to be a JavaFX uh, collection model. What we create is observable or array list. Then um, list items belongs to private array called uh, drink items. Let's import two, um, two classes belongs to uh, JavaFX collections. And the last two, three lines seems very complicated, but uh, it is actually straightforward. Um, we create one array. It is not quite necessary to create a private array, but it's a good practice. So let's create a private array and um, use them in the observable array list. Okay, now we go to initialize a um, method to set the values uh, belongs to observable list so that we can actually um, make a link with choice box fx controls using um, observable array list. So we say um, cb items dot set items, uh, then items belongs to um, observable list. So we say uh, drink list. So everything is works exactly the same. Uh, we add four items using uh, add all methods for item number seven, eight, nine, ten. Then uh, item number one to three were added as a part of an observable list. 
and the behavior works exactly the same. Let me add missing comments, then uh, that's all for this tutorial.